Welcome to John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York. Today, we will be flying premium economy with American Airlines. But first, because of our silver status in the British Airways Executive Club, we will be able to use the lounge. Now, we may not be able to say a lot along the way, but we'll give you a taste of what it's like. Nice pictures here, wall, little corridor down. We had to take an elevator up to the fourth floor. So this is what you see as soon as you get in. Wow. It looks like a massive canteen. Lots of culinary offerings, tables to sit at. drinks available. So I've got my sparkling wine, I've got some ginger ale, and I'll show you what I've managed to pick up to eat. We've got some ham here, some chicken, salmon, and some wild rice. This is my sparkling wine or champagne or Prosecco. I'm not sure. I didn't have a good look at the bottle. This is wild rice, broccolini, and then there is salmon under here. I think this is a nice protein, so I decided to go for that. If you've got an empty water bottle, you could fill it up from these cans of still water, which are available. So we've also got a rosé wine, a cup of tea, and some cookies and a brownie. What do you think of this, Paul? This was champagne. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Piper something. <laughs> Individual cubicles for the toilet. This is quite a large one in here. I think there were about four or five cubicles. Let's take a look outside. So what do you think of all this, Paul? I think this is quite vast and I think that more champagne than is champagne you said. It is because I saw the bottle. It wow. was Piper or something. Oh right. Um overall I think that the salmon was quite tasty and well it was okay. And I think I just needed to eat something that had a lot of protein. And I liked the broccolini and the wild rice. I think that that's all I had actually. Mm. No, I like I had one brownie as well. One. I liked the cookies, and the only thing I would say is it's very hot in here. And the thing I that's why we're wearing short sleeves, you see, and it's quite crowded as well. There are places to sit, and where we are, charging. we have a charging point, so that's quite good. Um, but it it does feel a little bit sort of on the on the crowded side and the hot side like, for me. It feels a little muggy, but then yeah. there is air conditioning. But then it does feel kind of. But I'd sticky. rather be in here than out with the masses. So next up, we will take you through our American Airlines Premium Economy cabin. Get on your bike. It's time to subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube.
Am I sitting here? Should I be talking? Okay, so this is, so these are our seats. We have the uh, emergency exit. Um, and here's the emergency exit right here. And I have like this mini thing over here. So yeah, I am really appreciative of all the extra legroom. The only thing is, we're sitting in the exit row, there are no seat back pop-ups. At least for me, Paul has got one at his side over here, so he may have to hold things. But we've done this before, and the, you need to fill your pockets, so that's why wear <laughs> something with really deep pockets, isn't that right, Paul? Mm. Exactly. And yeah. also, if you have like newspapers or magazines, you can just stuff them down the side of the seat. So you can see from my seated position how much leg room there actually is. There's no one in front of me, which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Although I might have to open the door in an emergency. This premium economy cabin on American Airlines is very small. There are only 28 seats. The nearest toilet is right in front of us and Paul is already using the facilities. I, I needed the toilet before we took off. Too much champagne, my dear. Yes, I think so. I had to. So would you like to take us through the amenities park? All right, so. We have the blanket, we have... Let's open it, shall we? Yeah. Uh, they also provided a bottle of water. Which is here? Each, yeah. The headphones. Yeah. Which we cannot keep, obviously. So, do you remember this? So you, so, oh, it's got the little tie um, on it. Yeah, so you... Okay. Welcome aboard American Airlines. Please place your carry-on... So I think that there's like, um, socks. Socks. And then we have the eye mask. We have... What is this? Hand and body lotion, which would come in handy. Ooh. Oh, here's like a pen. Wow! I don't think I've noticed um, any other airline giving us pants. Oh, uh, what else do they have? The bunk? Okay, which is something that I was eating. <laughs> um, toothbrush? Uh, what is this? Mm, this might be the like advertising this watch Shinola oh I don't know <laughs> okay do and what is this earplugs oh this will come in handy because I think I'm gonna try to sleep tonight <laughs> okay so why don't you demonstrate how to open the table. Well, first of all, I have to say, will there be enough room between <laughs> the table and my stomach? Let's find out. Hopefully there will be. Well, this is great. It's stuck already. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. There's no way of getting it on. Don't you? Do you have the... Oh, it's on the latch. It is on like a latch. Oh, it wasn't it on a latch? Okay, there's just about enough room and no You could push it up, no? Really That's as far as it goes. I will say it's slightly more than Cathay Pacific. <laughs> Only slightly. You're throwing shade again. 
and the seat belt. There's a third. The seatbelt is absolutely fine. Good to know. So, the headphones is down here. Safe. All right, well, let's do a toilet review. And this particular toilet does seem to be quite big compared with some on other airlines, so I am quite impressed with that. Let's take a look around. We've got the soap dispenser, we've got cups, towels, this is tissues in here. It's a new packet, so there we are. Look, just grab a few to come out. Waste disposal, toilet rolls. Let's go wide. And there is the loo. And there seems to be quite a lot of space for your legs down here. So we're having beef and mashed potato. Oh, lovely.
M&S Simply Food. That must mean we are back in the UK and we yes, are we at are. Heathrow Terminal 3. So how would you sum up premium economy on American Airlines, Paul? Well, I was sort of disappointed that we didn't get the welcome drink. True, Do yes. Do you think that it was only applicable for the oob, like, like the super low stuff? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't think so. I don't know. I feel kind of chipped. I did think it was a very comfortable flight. The seats were comfortable. But the biggest criticism I have is trying to find the headphone socket. It's actually at the back of the seat, hidden right at the bottom. And how would you know it was there? We actually were both down on our hands and knees trying to find it. A fellow passenger told us where to look. But we did speak to a lovely um, flight attendant who was in the jump seat, so that was nice. And it was a very smooth flight and it only lasted six hours and ten minutes or so. So it's one of the quickest flights from New York to London that we have had.